Good morning and welcome to Yellowstone National Park. We have made it and I'm kind of stoked because I've been waiting a long time to come here. The weather's beautiful and we're making our way to Lamar Valley, but we're stopping at Trout Lake to get some beautiful images of the lake. I, uh, I read about this little side trek. It's a half a mile up there, so we're going to go see if the lake is calm. It's worth the hike for a half a mile to get a lake that not everybody photographs, so I guess we'll see. Yep. Be alert, make noise, carry bear spray, hike in groups. Everybody that lives here says the bear spray just pisses them off more, so I don't know. I have it, but I'm not sure what to think. Here we go. We're at Trout Lake, and right now I'm trying to find the iconic view for uh, before the sun comes up to get this reflection in the water. And I think we're gonna probably gonna shoot right at this general area here. We're gonna shoot either that or right here at the at the dam. So I've got to kind of get all set up and try to figure it all out. But we'll let you know how it goes here in a minute. is we're we've got a low position I think I like this shot with the the wood in the background or in the foreground quite a bit I've got a graduated neutral density or I'm actually gonna lower this down so a lot of times when you're doing this your perspective has to be quite a bit different like you, you necessarily don't need to stand the whole time we're getting some sun up on that mountain peak up there waiting for that to happen that's really exciting so I'm gonna be using my timer I'm gonna have it set to go off at uh, two seconds so that uh, we don't get any shutter shake is what we're doing and so I really wish I had my long lens I can't tell you how angry I am at myself that I didn't bring my 600 millimeter lens because that moose over there is spectacular in fact because he's up here i might actually run back down to the car and run all the way back up here to get that lens i want to shoot that moose i think that would be extraordinary and so i'm shooting at about three seconds and we're going to see how this looks and here we go let's see Ooh, overexposed. ISO is real high. You don't want that. Shot the Milky Way last night. 
So, all oh, my settings are still going from that. All right. I'm pretty happy with this shot that I got. I'm actually going to move. There's a little bridge over here. We're going to go over there real quick and try to get a couple of shots of that bridge. And then we want to, I'm either going to work on shooting that moose or we're going to head to Lamar Valley. So let's go over here. So I, I came over here and I did a little bit different perspective. And as the sun's coming up, you can see how it's lighting up the peaks up there, making for a spectacular reflection down here. See down there in the pond? Yeah. So I got my camera low. So I get this grass in the foreground. This split in this grass right here, that split in that grass right there, actually is framing in that highest peak up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more, two more shots, then we're gonna call it good and head to the valley. This is just amazing. And the thing that I like about this is not everybody knows about this area. Oh, wow. What a shot. That's a keeper. We're going to probably pack it up here. The moose, his wife came down. Joel <laughs> and I got to watch him, watch his wife come down and get him. It was real funny. She came running down that hillway <laughs> over there, down to the lake where he was eating or drinking or whatever. And he looked up. And then she took off running back up the hill, and then he kind of moseyed on up yeah, there. Yeah, he didn't want to go. Funny. Like Joel said, he was saying, as, uh, she was telling him it's time for breakfast. Would you get your big moose ass up here, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that funny? Holy cow, funny. this is spectacular. This is so great. Look at those shadows. Look at that golden light up there. Unbelievable. Now, this would be a spot. If you were up here early enough, you would get the, the, the horizon over here was bright pink when we were hiking up here. So you would get that pink glow that's so uh, um, typical of the Sierra Nevada in this area up here. Uh, you would definitely get that. So, so special. What a special place to shoot first shot. This is the first shot in Yellowstone Park for us. And isn't this great? All right, well, I think we're gonna head to Lamar Valley. Uh, that's next up on the agenda for this morning in this video. We'll see you over there. We'll see how that goes. lens on right now to try to see what I can find. We'll see how this goes. I'll let you know. There's such majestic creatures. And it's pretty cool because they're out there. All right, so we're headed over. We're going to try to drive over to Mammoth Springs to see if we can find a campsite. We need to stock up on groceries. So this was pretty great. We were able to watch the wolves out there. I felt a lot like, um, I felt a lot like Mr. Fox. They were they were way 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 out in the in the forest. So um, difficult even with the really really long lens to actually get them in the frame. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna if I'm gonna be able to crop in and zoom in. I'm I'm gonna try, uh, but I I kind of doubt it. The valley though is beautiful here. The sun coming over. Oh, 
it is just really, really wonderful. So, got nothing uh, as far as that goes. Got a pronghorn up here, but um, we'll see. We'll see when we get home and, and get the images on the computer. But uh, this is just a uh, really special environment. And I think what I'll do is, uh, uh, I thought maybe I'd photograph that pronghorn. Uh, yeah. We did get to look through some binoculars. Yeah, people them. shared their, their telescopes with us. So, you know, first morning here, uh, pretty great um, seeing Trout Lake and uh, I can't uh, I can't recommend that high enough it, it was really great uh, very secluded and secret and um, in Lamar Valley here if you're into buffaloes there are a ton of bison as you saw earlier and uh, I don't know we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes where we're gonna go to sunset I'm not sure but uh, I think that's gonna pretty much conclude this first uh, morning here in, uh, where are we? Yellowstone? Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park. So again, you know, if you could, uh, really, if you could subscribe to the channel, if you could like the video, um, if you could, uh, you know, hit the notification bell so that uh, you are part of the family, if you will, that would be great. We're meeting a lot of really cool people on the trail and uh, just so grateful for the people. I, I wanted to say, before we close out, uh, trail life, the people out here, it's just a different group of people. Joel had mentioned this morning uh, about how they are so full of adventure and they are so full of, hey, let's try this, hey, let's try that. And uh, it, it's really fun to be a part of a group of people that has a, a, a real sense of adventure and really enjoys um, taking some chances we're going to try to not hammer some buffalo here. <laughs> it's crazy. They're just on the side of the road. It's mad. It's crazy mad. So, um, again, thanks for being with us on our little adventure up to uh, Trout Lake and Lamar Valley and Yellowstone National Park. And, well, I guess uh, that, that concludes this series on this here video. And I think we'll see you in the next one.